everyone, I am Srini Merit of Grade 8A. Today, I have come to take you to a world of the living organisms. Let's go! Now, we are in the galaxy. A galaxy is a place where our solar system is located. Solar system is a place where all the celestial bodies revolve around the sun. So, there are 8 planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. This is our Earth, the place where we all live, the only planet in the solar system that sustains life. Earth is a beautiful living planet in the universe that contains millions of species. It provides us with all our requirements like food, shelter, water, etc. Earth is beautiful because it is alive. Let us now explore the Earth. Join me for a tour to our amazing Earth and the living world. Trees are very vital to us. No picture, no description or any book can replace the real sight of trees. Each organism in the world contributes to the ecosystem. It maintains a proper balance and it is important for the existence of each other organisms. Animals are very important species in our Earth. They maintain a balanced ecosystem, food chain and a food web. They help us to reduce our stress, anxiety and they are great pets. We can also see several types of birds in the living nature. When a bird flies, it's one of the amazing things that we can see. Birds are the only creatures that have feathers. But not all birds can fly. Birds are almost everywhere. Wow, we are underwater. There are lots of species in water too. Almost all of the species, plants, animals, etc. are to be seen in water. There are different types of water bodies like oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, etc. Many water animals like seahorses, fish, starfish, jellyfish, octopus, many organisms live in water. Hey, have you known that elephants are the only animal that cannot jump? And elephants are the animals which have the largest brain above all other animals. Today, our planet hosts around 7 billion people. Biodiversity loss is to be estimated in between 1000 and 10,000 times higher than the natural extinction rate. Thus, it is our responsibility to save our Mother Earth. Over the years, we have been destroying. Resources have been damaged and we willingly covered our ears to Mother Nature's scream and our eyes to all of our help wanted signs. Our world is getting worse than ever before. We humans can always save the world. It's not too late to change. It's not too late to save our earth. Thank you.